this is DMG, and we're going to be exploring the rules of 7D system with group active and passive skill checks. Once again, thank you for joining me. And if you'd like to support these videos, check out patreon.com forward slash 7D system. So group active and passive skill checks mean the entire group is doing this all at once. So if it's a skill check that everyone has to do, and if one person fails, then there's a problem or everyone has to succeed, or if only one person needs to succeed of the group as a whole. So that's what we're going to be talking about here. When the group wants to perform uh, an action where a single failure affects the entire group, you the, the person who's got the lowest ranks, who's the weakest in that ability, forte, experience, etc., is the one who performs a check. If they succeed, then everyone succeeds. If they fail, then of course everyone fails. And if they succeed, any character that's over the threshold of the dice being rolled earns experience from it as well. So even though another player is rolling the dice, your character can earn experience so long as that is above your current threshold. So for instance, if your threshold is D6 and the check is D8 and the person rolling is, you know, um, lower ranks, but they roll a D8 and they succeed, they, they roll, let's say, three D8s and they succeed, you get experience because you have the threshold of D6. So very important to keep note of that. Because it's as though you're doing the check. You, it, whether you pass or fail makes no real difference. It's the person who's the lowest rank. Because if they fail, the negative consequence is going to happen to everybody. An example of this is if you're all trying to sneak quietly past a sentry who's asleep. The person who moves the loudest, who has the least ability to move silently, if they make a mistake, they're the, the, that's what's going to wake up the guard. So they're the one who rolls. Everyone else... If they succeed, everyone else has succeed and everyone else gets experience. And this is just a way of speeding things up. On the flip side, you've got the passive group skill check. Now, the passive group skill check, someone else is performing against the group as a whole. So we'll take the same scenario. Let's say the group is camping and they're sleeping and someone else is sneaking past them. The person with the best hearing is the one who sets the difficulty level for the opposing side. So whichever character has the best score in that, they're the ones who um, set the difficulty level for the opposing side. So again, this is only when a failure or success will affect the entire group as a whole. If, it, if the effect would be different for different players, like for instance, you're trying to climb over a wall, you know, if one person can't make it, you know that's different because the other people it's, it doesn't really affect them that that person can't get over the wall they can continue on it is more things where if someone drops the ball it explodes <laughs> that's going to affect everybody so that's the kind of skills checks we're talking about as a group not where you're all trying to do the same task but if one person fails it doesn't affect the other people that is individual roles so if you like this video, click the like button. You can check me out on Facebook and Twitter forward slash 70 system. And you can subscribe to this video series on youtube.com forward slash 70 system. Now in the next video, we're going to talk about some of the most important things in 70 system. That is size and injuries. So I'll see you in that one.